Hey everybody, how's it going? Oh, I'll wait, I'll wait. <laughs> In this video, I'm gonna show you a plugin that I think is just grossly underrated. It's called WP Sheet Editor. It's a little bit technical looking, but it's easier to use than, than it might seem here. I'm gonna show you how I'm using it and ways that you can use it as well. So the big value of this, if you have a brand new blog, it's not gonna be that useful to you right out of the gate uh, if you only have a few pages. But as your blog starts to grow or website, if you have a WooCommerce site or whatever it is, if you have a lot of pages, this can come in very, very handy because uh, it allows you to edit things in bulk and create cool filters and, and really do a ton of stuff that in WordPress you normally wouldn't be able to do as easily. Uh, so it makes things a lot more efficient. I'm going to show you that here in just a second. So let's go ahead. Let's actually log into my blog and I'm going to show you something I did just recently. I was doing a, a couple of changes. I had some really low uh, CTR pages. So I had a lot of pages that I was ranking for in Google and I was getting a ton of impressions for, but they weren't getting clicks. So what I wanted to do is isolate those and then go through and try to just edit the titles. So, you know, kind of make them a little bit more engaging, you know, make you want to click on them. Not just that, but also make them match the search intent a little bit. I wasn't just trying to make them all clickbait. So what I did and what I normally would have had to have done is gone through inside of WordPress. And every time I wanted to edit a title, I would go through and I'd come into posts. I go to all posts. I come up here and I would do either quick edit or since I use Yoast, I have to come inside of the edit, come down to the bottom upload not upload but type in my new title here and then type in my new title here and it's just kind of a mess it takes a long time and then when i'm done with that i save it and i go back and then i find the next one that i want to update and then i'd have to search for it and then it takes a long time so instead i use the tool called wp sheet editor so first i got all this data from the world's greatest seo tool Google search console, which is completely free. It's crazy how people don't utilize it. Like they'll go out and they'll buy the super, super expensive tools like Ahrefs, uh, which I do recommend and use, um, but they'll do that before they even get all that they can out of search console. Search console is going to show you which pages are getting clicks, how you're performing for certain uh, terms. It's really, really great stuff. Uh, so that's what I used to get this data. So these are the pages that I decided after filtering through, um, I decided that those were the ones that I wanted to edit. Don't worry so much about the actual data that we're looking at here. Just know that these were posts, these were existing uh, titles that weren't getting clicks. So then over here, I manually created a whole bunch of new titles. I spent a couple of hours and I just sat down and I crafted as many new headlines as I could. And I got a lot of them. But now the problem was I have all these new headlines. How do I get them to update over here? It was easier than it seems. So thanks to WP Sheet Editor. What I did was I copied all of these slugs, uh, which was easy to pull when I exported this all to from Search Console. So I, I copied all those just with a Command C or if you're on uh, PC, whatever you use, Control C. And then I, let's go ahead and exit this. I came into WP Sheet Editor, and then I went to Edit Posts. And there are literally thousands of things that you could do with this. So this is just the one big one that I want to show you all right now um, as an example to kind of give you an idea of the power of the just types of things we could do. Because when I first had this, I had this extension um, on my site, plugin rather, and I just didn't really use it. And I've been using it more and more and more, and I'm starting to realize, like, wow, this is really more powerful than I had thought. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do an advanced search here. I'm going to paste all those slugs and now I'm going to let it run. Okay. And I've got all of these titles now, right? So these are the ones that I already updated. So, um, it, these are now these ones, but if I wanted to, I could just come back in here. Let's say that I created another, um, set of headlines and I put them over here. Let's pretend those are different. I copy them. I come right into this, 
come up to that top one and I just paste them down. And now I have all new headlines again uh, for all of those posts. 29 posts, I was able to update the headlines like that, right? Really, really cool. Other stuff, we can, we can filter what's shown here on these columns. Um, we can add tags very quickly. So that's one thing I did. I went through and I added tags and I tagged pages as best. So now pages that have been marked as best on this site are now showing up on the homepage. Cause there were some pages that I didn't want to show up on the homepage cause they were random or they were like targeting a, a coupon code. I don't want those to be shown like this. I want them on the front page. I want those to be, you know, showing up in SEO, you know, general searches, but I don't want them to be front and center. This is the stuff that I want people to read and, and engage with and click on. So these are all tagged that way. And to do that, I went through and I went through all my pages and I just decided, Hey, which ones are my best posts? So I created my own little spreadsheet here and then I was able to kind of filter them and copy the same thing I just did with all of the headlines. I copied the slugs or URLs. You can do URLs, entire URLs. Um, and then I just pasted it with the tags. I would have to go through and, and do a comma best or example tag. And whenever you put a tag there, it's going to actually add the tag. So even if you didn't already have the tag, it'll append it there. Pretty cool. Um, other stuff like I can come through here and edit the SEO keyword. I can edit the SEO description. That's huge. So anyone that has a bunch of blog posts that wants to improve the SEO quickly without having to go through, like I had shown earlier and going through every single page in the WordPress editor, this is the way to do it. Absolutely. 100%. Another thing I wish I knew about this earlier is updating featured images. So over here, I actually have, uh, my featured images as one of the columns and you can edit what you see in the columns. Uh, but I wanted to show the featured images cause I, there were a couple in here that were really, really bad that I wanted to, that I wanted to change. Right. So like this one is really bad. Um, and I'm going to change it. And when I do change it, I can just click upload just that little upload icon. And then I can pick a new thumbnail and I can save it. And once I'm done with that, I just click save and all of those changes are on the site. So, so, so cool. Very effective use of your time. Uh, go ahead and check it out. Uh, I'll post a link down below. Really cool, really affordable tool. And I'm just shocked that more people aren't talking about it. I think it's just a little bit kind of teeters on the edge of SEO nerdiness, but it's really so much more than a, a confusing SEO tool. It's just a very convenient way of putting things out there to, to make it easier for you uh, to, to uh, make tons of changes really, really quickly. And that is a great way to fix a blog that's ha that's been ignored for a long time. Like if you haven't been properly adding your tags, if you haven't been properly categorizing stuff like that, you can go through and you can make tons of updates very, very quickly. So hopefully uh, I haven't rambled on too much and this makes sense. Uh, WP sheet editor, go check it out. They have a bunch of other plugins. Uh, I guess I bought the big bundle that comes with other stuff. Uh, but the biggest one that you want to use is going to be the, um, page editor, or, I'm sorry, the, the post editor, uh, the page editor is great too. I'm going to go through that today actually, and update some of my, um, pages really, really cool. And you can also do stuff like the, there's a media one where you can go through and add alt, uh, text for all of the, um, images that you have, which is something that a lot of people forget to do. So really great stuff. Hopefully you guys go out and give that a try. Let me know in the comments what you think if you're already using WP Sheet Editor. Uh, but other than that, I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.